guys welcome back to my channel yeah i know it's been a minute yeah you've not seen my face for some time but i'm sorry guys see i've been cooking up lots of goodies for you that i hope you would love okay so um without wasting much time let's just get into the video i wanted you guys to be part of my life you know when you have this favorite um youtuber there are some questions when you just sitting there are some questions in your head you really want to ask them but you don't have the the, the opportunity to ask so that made me um drop um a question and answer session for you guys i just told you guys please drop in your questions and i'm gonna do a sit down video and answer all your nosy questions i like to use that word because man some questions were out of this world but it's okay um so let's just get straight into the video and i hope i see all the questions and i answer all the questions okay i just screenshot um the questions so i would know uh, so i would be missing each other because some came from whatsapp some came from um instagram so i just have to put them in one place so i won't be going about so the first question let me see excuse me the first question is from lizzie guys this get asked three questions you guys have no chill at all but it's okay so the first question is have you ever had any betrayal from a close friend number two what makes you happy number three do you have any regrets see this question i just feel like it's putting me on the spot especially the uh, third one do you have any regrets but it's okay um let me start from the first one have you had any betrayal from a close friend yes i have lots and lots of betrayals from friends because one thing about me with friendship i hold it so dearly like i take my time i put my all in my friendship so when a close friend does something to me it really gets me so bad i don't know why but the same thing um somebody i don't know would do and i would just overlook us this one because we don't have any connection if a close friend does that same thing i will feel very pained because i know i wouldn't do that to that friend of course i've had and the last one that just happened was um somebody i thought was somebody i called my friend anyway i don't know what position i am right now in the friendship i told her something that happened even her husband was like hey that person didn't do well no he was even telling his wife i don't ever want to see you in that place don't ever go there even my friend was even telling me her experience she had with that same person that the person is very like it's obvious the person is this kind of person she even told me her experience i was like wow guess what the um when they finally had whatever conversation they had and it was just brief because i saw the chat she didn't know where she told me that see what i didn't want anybody to know what i told her she went to tell this the same person and she didn't know when she told me like you know when you talk too much you just some things just mistakenly flip from your mouth like but that was it i took that betrayal very very bad because first of all it spilled it's, it wasn't a secret but it's not a secret it's nothing bad but i just hate it it's a bad news i don't want anybody to know i just told you i didn't want if i wanted that same person to know i would have told the person myself but you going behind me to tell the person and what that and some things she said sha just made me realize that see this life now brain brain so that's for that then number two what makes you happy um okay not to sound like a motivational speaker music money love next so the next question is from ella ella said why do you easily conclude hmm okay um ella uh to you it might seem because it just came out you maybe you would say something to me i'll just tell you okay this is it or this this is not it 
in your head this guy the question was um too the answer came out too uh, quickly but then see some people's iq is way smarter and faster than others okay see before i say something i must have thought about it and there are some things i don't even have to stretch st stress my head on like if an adult does something that is stupidly stupid i don't have to waste my time to think about it see if it's obvious there are some obvious things that some adults will say i'll just look at this one what is wrong with this person if, see that person doesn't need an answer doesn't need an explanation because the person will drag you to his level and see babe to you i might just conclude easily but to me in my head i've done all the analysis and i know what i'm concluding on and that is the facts i'm a kind of person even if everybody's going left and i know it's right see Ogbeni, i won't follow you to go down uh, right i will go my left i don't know if i say what is, if it's correct but then i'll go it out of the way but the one you are not going sha and the one the crowd is not going i'll go the other way so that is it so the next question is from mrs steven she said how i how have you been coping in this pandemic wow um truthfully it's just um it's god constant lights internet internet i cannot over over emphasize on this internet part because with this internet i can go on netflix i can watch movies i can chat with people i can be on call from morning to night see guys light and internet did the most part and god of course so that is it excuse me the next one is from ik he said where did you learn all your cooking skills from <laughs> This is my husband's friend, by the way. Okay. Um, first of all, I wouldn't say I learned it like I went to um, a catering school. And I don't want to sound like a motivational speaker. I don't know. But this might come off <laughs> like being a motivational speaker. But guys, still, it is what it is. Um, growing up, I grew up in a body house. I didn't even have, I wasn't cooking my food at some point. When I came in, I wasn't washing my clothes because I was quite young. So it got to some, uh, when I got to some second class, I started washing my clothes because those are basic things they will teach you that you face in life, okay? So I started washing my clothes uh, and doing all that stuff apart from cooking. So let me just say, it came, it's just what I like doing, Sha. Mm -hmm. Nobody taught me. I won't say it's my mother. My mother cooks, she cooks good food, especially garlic egg and uh, yam, but it wasn't my mother. I don't know. If I, in fact, I learned from my mistakes. Sometimes I put one or two together, it doesn't work. The next day I remove that two, I, I put one and three and it works. So most times I learned from my mistake and I just enjoyed doing it. So that's for that. The next one is, <laughs> this is for my in-law, Sonny. He says, when you go buy me home, ma. <laughs> my brother i will buy you hammer when i hammer so keep on supporting me so i will hammer and buy you hammer okay <laughs> but truthfully now i got you i got you <laughs> so that's for that the next question is um from dokas the first one see all these people their question it has a a and b a and b and c a b c d all those uh, a, I, I, a i i i i don't know all these people people just want to know everything the first one she said are you married the other one do you have kids the third one where are you from the fourth one where do you live how old are you how many kids do you have are you a christian dokas am i your nose Please, if I mean your nose, blow me out. I don't understand. Just so I'll fall off. When did it happen? <laughs> but it's okay. It's fine. So let me start from the first one. Are you married? Yes, I am married. And um, my channel's name that I changed, Iyobosa. Well, Iyobosa is actually my husband's name. And um, I'll come to that because I think there's a question on that. Why I changed the name. Okay, so yes, I'm married for the first question. Do you have kids? 
yes i'm a mother of many nations i'm mother abraham i have too many queens twins triplets single all of them see in the spiritual realm i am a mother physically i'm a mother everywhere i'm a mother but then the kids we are just waiting for them to arrive okay i hope that answers your question for the next one where are you from i'm from edo state bini city to be precise yeah edo state bini city yes nigeria of course where do you live presently i live in uae united arab emirates which people call dubai which is, dubai is not a country but then so you know what i'm saying i'm in uae presently then how old are you i'm proudly plus one okay how many kids do you have like i said i'm mother of many nations i will have as many kids as i want in this world praise the lord somebody hallelujah mm -hmm. So, are you a Christian? Obviously, I love God, I love Jesus, and they love me too. Yep, I'm a Christian. So, that's for that. Okay, this next one is from Joy Aero. She said, What made you start your YouTube channel? What inspired me to start off my YouTube channel? Guys, this question is very dear to me. To answer your question, so you don't have to wait till the time that I upload the video. Um, I started because I was inspired by a couple. They live in the Netherlands. They came to UAE. I'll just have to do a full video about that chat. But when I saw their life, I saw the love was just so real. Then I was like, if they can, why can't I? So I'm seeing the process. So that is for that. So another one from Peace. She said, why did you change your channel's name? Okay, guys um if they didn't notice and if you didn't know before my channel's name was yobosa uwa channel in fact see my the journey of this youtuber is been like this is like a roller coaster the first sentence was yobosa uwa channel just yobosa uwa channel then the next time i changed it to yobosa uwas channel then the next time i changed it to it's uwas channel then the next time I change it to the one it is on now was channel. So hopefully I don't have get to change it again or I don't have to change it again. But to answer your question, girl, I changed it. It's not just my um YouTube that I changed. I also changed it because um the first reason sharp. I changed it because the name I noticed see in my head when i started this channel i was like okay yo sabuwa but then along the line i noticed that it's not just africans that are watching me some people don't even know how to pronounce yobusa because it's a traditional name so i have people watching me from america canada italy just name it sha all over the world and not everybody can pronounce it so i need a an easy name that when you just go to youtube people will just like okay what's channel that's why I changed it. I also changed my Instagram name. Another reason why I changed it because I want all my um, social media handle, their name to correspond. Yes. You see, the way I'm seeing myself, I'm going to be a big brand eventually. So I might be small now, but I'm looking at the long run. I'm looking at the future. So it's only wise when they search for me on Facebook, they see was channel. They search for me on uh, YouTube, they see was channel the search on instagram any social media platform it will be the same name so i don't miss out on gigs i don't miss out on collabs i don't miss out on you know it's that bring me money so guys that is it so this is the last question see i had fun answering this question and i hope i answered them genuinely this has brought me to the end of this video. I hope you enjoy it. Please, if you've not yet subscribed and you're watching this, why are you like this? I don't understand. It's absolutely free. Please do the need to subscribe. I love you. I want us to be one family, okay? Please subscribe. Click, click the like button. Share. Just share me out. It won't take anything from you. Let's be one family. Let's share love. I love you and I'll see you in my next one.